For practice it, exercise 2.9 wave numbers 40, we need to write for loops to produce the following output, with each line 40 characters wide. So we, we have four lines of code, that means we're going to have a four, four loops for each of these. We can start this by just writing out all of our for loops, like this, and then we can just copy what we have here and paste it here, because we're going to do this four times. When our, first we're going to have int a, and we'll set that equal to 0, and this is going to run, it needs to run 40 times, so we'll run this as long as a is less than 40, and then we'll increment a every single time this loop runs. We have a, to have a system.out.print statement in here, and in here we are just going to print out a, a dash like it's asking us. This is going to print out 40 times. After this we need a system dot out dot print line because we need spacing we can copy this and actually put this after every single for loop because every for loop needs uh, space except for this last one so in our next loop we are dealing with this line and we can get this and copy it and then paste it in a system dot out dot print line statement right here actually it's going to be system dot out dot print not print line because it all needs to be on the same line and we'll have this string in here and since there is four characters in this one string and we know each line is 40 characters wide this is just going to run 10 times so we'll have int b is equal to 0 and we'll have b is less than um, 10, and we will increment b every single time. In our next for loop, we are going to have these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 0. So we can just copy this part, and this is going to be int c equal to 0. And we're going to run this as long as c is less than 2, because we need to, there's two um, copies of this, so that's why there's 2. And then we're going to print this twice. And then here, our string like this, and this is going to print twice. Next, for our last for loop, we are just going to have the same thing as our first for loop. So we can just copy this and paste it into here and redeclare these values, or these as D, so it's different, and then submit it. And we, oh, we don't have a semicolon right here, but we need to have a semicolon right here. And after we have that and submit it, we can correct a few more syntax errors and then see that we pass the test. For for loops, we declare a variable right here. Um, however, since these are not encased, these can actually all be the same variable. If they were in case, they'd have to be different or they'd have to be redeclared. So, to just show this, we will change all of these variables to be A, like this, and then submit, and then it still passes the test.